Welcome back to That Dad Guy. It's June the 2nd, 2023. It's about 11 degrees outside. It's supposed to be raining all today. It hasn't started yet, but hopefully it's coming. I say hopefully because uh, the wildfires in the area really need it to uh, get things under control and uh, protect people. So uh, I'll give up sunshine and hot summer days for a uh, few days or even the whole weekend of rain in order to uh, get things under control for these people. So uh, yeah, it's coming, but right now it's just kind of an overcast, uh, cooler day today. Well, it is Friday, and uh, first I want to say thank you so much. Uh, we've hit 800 subscribers. I'm very happy. Um, hard to believe. A few years ago when I started this and uh, started putting them out on a regular basis, these videos, um, never thought it would get this. I always had a hope that I would get up to this level and uh, beyond, but um, it seems to be growing uh, even quicker lately. So I want to say special thank yous to uh, all of you who have uh, taken your time to uh, sit down and watch these videos when they come out, to uh, hit the subscribe button, to leave me comments, um, share it with any other, other people. I, I see people that uh, mention me and give me shout outs on their videos too. So I appreciate all those uh, extra um, encouragements for my channel and, and continuing to go. Hopefully it will uh, continue to get bigger and uh, we can do bigger things. Uh, one of the things that I want to do coming up soon is uh, I'm going to do a giveaway. I was at a stamp show not that long ago and uh, bought some collector stamps. So there's a few of them that I want to put into a giveaway. And all I'm going to ask people is that you be a subscriber and that you leave a comment um, on that video. So when it comes out, it'll be uh, coming soon, I think. We're going to we're gonna have that one now that we've hit 800 subscribers. And uh, maybe it'll be a way to help us get to 900 quicker where we can do another giveaway and go from there on our uh, quest to, to get to a thousand. That's where we want to get to. Or that's where I want to get to. I don't know where you want to get to. Maybe you've already passed where you want to get to and you've already left. Uh, hopefully you haven't done that. <laughs> Stick around. Let's see what else happens on these videos. All right. Today is a post crossing video. Uh, I've got a bunch of mail that came in. I'll show you the ones that are official first and then we'll get to the uh, direct swaps as I normally do. The first one I have, this one comes from China. City of Moon. On the back it just says the image of the a poet in a stilted house in Chongying. Uh, it's a mountain city. And here are the stamps. Beautiful stamps. Nice postmarks. So uh, yeah, beautiful. On the front it also says in very very small print here it says. Um, reproductions and misappropriations are prohibited without the author's consent of City of the Moon creations in 2018. And then there's a, a website and things on there too. I'm impressed that I can read that without glasses, but I can. So thank you so much for that. Uh, it wasn't signed, so I'm not sure uh, who sent it to me, but thank you anyways. The next card comes from Ukraine. Uh, we've seen this image before. If you've watched my channel, you have. Uh, if you haven't, this is showing uh, one of the farmers pulling away one of the captured Russian tanks. And uh, they turned it into a bit of a maxi card because they've used the exact same stamp as the image on the card. And uh, this comes from, let me just find out, from Lana. And uh, she was just explaining the same way that this is uh, what this was about the farmers and, uh, and the tanks. So thank you, Lana. Uh, hopefully that wherever you are in Ukraine, that you're staying safe and that your family is well. Uh, the next card comes from Japan. A little bit of a garden card. And it says, hello from Tokyo. And it says they pasted a whole lot of old Japanese stamps, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. And this comes from Mika. And here are all the older version stamps. You can see Olympic stamp in there. Beautiful, beautiful with the uh, Traditional outfits. Give you time to soak it all in, because that's what I did when I saw it. I just kind of stared at the stamps and uh, tried to take in as much information as possible from them. So thank you, Mika, for that. Uh, it's funny, uh, on the bottom, she's got five out of 14 rainy 2023. So this was mailed on May 14th. Made pretty good for, time from Japan. I appreciate that. So thank you, Posties, for getting it here quickly. 
the next card comes from Russia. I haven't had a lot coming from Russia lately and we still can't mail to Russia. Um, so some of my Russian friends that I've got, I've actually got two letters that I've written that uh, were sent back when uh, it got, mail got closed. They've been sitting in my office and I'm just waiting for the day when uh, mail resumes to Russia and I can put them back in the post again. And it says, uh, this one says, I hope you will have a good day from Russia. This person's a graphic design artist and they have a dog named Volka, who's a Malmute. There are the stamps. And uh, I didn't sign it, so I'm not sure. Oh wait, I've got it covered up, that's why. Uh, Vera, so thank you Vera for the card. This next card comes from Germany. That's a thousand Shen postcard. I really like them. This one here, you can see it uh, looks like a whole bunch of stamps on it. Different castles, all sorts of images. Very much enjoy these cards. They're on the back of the stamps, nice frog stamp. And uh, it says, feel free to show this postcard on your YouTube channel. So I am, and thank you very much. Uh, he says, sorry, you forgot to send this card in February. And uh, so that's all right. I won't give you all the details of what's there, but hobbies for this person. He's a, this person's a dentist assistant and at an orthodontist office and their hobbies are beekeeping and love to play video games. So that's really cool. Uh, so hopefully they're having nice weather for beekeeping. And it's all right that it finally showed up. I think it showed on my uh, thing when I registered, it was over a hundred days that, to get here. So. I don't know if it was actually 100 days from the time of mailing because the postmark on it looks like it says the 21st of May. So I think they probably put it in the post in May, but they pulled the address in February. They just never got around to writing one. So I think that's how I understand that. So it's all right. It got here eventually. I'm all right with that. Uh, that's it for my official one. So I'll start showing you some of the direct swaps. This first one comes from Kara in Washington. Sun Lakes, the Dry Falls, and it says these cliffs are skeletal remnants of what was once the world's largest waterfall. They bear stark witness to the tremendous power and catastrophic floods that swept over eastern Washington at the end of the last ice age. Last and hopefully only ice age. There's a global forever stamp. This one's there's a postmark. So. <laughs> dents on it that you can't even see what that stamp is anymore. I think it's a bird stamp. It says red. I can't even say. Someone out there knows what that stamp is. I haven't seen it before, so it was new to me. So thank you, Kara, for the informative postcard. This next one is a beautiful, long illustration of a um, post box from, the, from Netherlands. This comes from Billy. She says, do you know who the artist who painted this card is? I don't. And it says that she likes her illustrations a lot. She's got a great Instagram account as well. Uh, so it was illustrated by Mog Cherry, M-O-G-C-H-E-R-I-E. -E. There she's got it circled on the bottom. So if you guys want to go check out the Instagram account, see what other illustrations she does. And there she's even did a matching sticker there. And there's the... Uh, Postage stamp. Billy asks if uh, we have nice looking mailboxes here or post boxes here. I don't think they're particularly nice looking. Um, they're very different from these tower boxes. So I give you that if you've seen an American post box, uh, they're very similar to those. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll get some pictures or you can go check out my uh, older videos. I did a whole video on people's mailboxes and post boxes from around the world. And I included some Canadian ones in that too. So you can go check that out. Almost forgot about that video. It's been, I've done so many videos. It's hard to believe what I've done and what I haven't at this stage. All right, this next card comes from Amber in France. And she did a trip to Paris and she found this really nice shiny card to send to me. Uh, she's got it decorated with washi tape and stamps and all sorts of things here. So. Here are the stamps. I really like this one here. The popsicles, the ice creams. That's really nice. The birds are beautiful, of course. Lots of nice stamps and stickers. And that's gorgeous washi tape there at the bottom. That's all kind of a village washi tape. I don't have anything like that. Mine are all straight 
image, but not uh, illustrations. So thank you, Amber. I appreciate that. I really like it. All right. And then the next one. Oh, this one comes from Mary or Maria in Ukraine. Uh, this is so adorable with the hedgehog fishing and the little mouse holding the worm and the frog coming up. I mean, yeah, you guys can see everything that's in this image. I really like it. Uh, what really goes along well with this, um, Maria or Mary has a uh, he pet hedgehog as well, Tofa, uh, a little female pygmy one. Uh, very cute. But look at the stamps on the back. Ukraine stamps are beautiful, but this one really sticks out. The hedgehog with all the... Uh, fruit all stuck in his uh, quills. Very cute. Um, she does lots of things. She's talked. The time that this was sent was um, the fourth month. So April the 23rd, she sent this. No, uh, April the 25th, excuse me, it was sent. And uh, at that point in time, she said their garden, the tulips and Lilac bushes and fruit trees were all starting to blossom. Showed a video yesterday of my yard, um, and uh, things are starting to blossom here too. Our tulips are up. Um, and then uh, she says she's been missing her husband as he's been away uh, with the war. So uh, hopefully he comes back and the war gets finished up here very quickly. And then she talked about uh, Tofa the hedgehog and whether or not. She, I bathe polo, how often we bathe polo, because they, they can get a little poopy, we'll say that, uh, they, they go, um, but uh, polo's trained, I'm sure Tofa is too, uh, we have a litter box in their enclosure, and they run on the wheel, and uh, go to the bathroom, and then when I get them up, he goes right in the sink, sink of water, he swims, does his business, and we get him out, get him cleaned up, uh, once a month, he actually gets a full soap bath, uh, he's not crazy about it, that's for sure. And now that the weather is nicer out, or at least it was the last couple of days, he's been out. I take, wake him up. We go outside. He walks around in the yard and sniffs and smells and does his thing. He really likes that. So hopefully that answers your questions. And uh, I'll send you a card back with some uh, questions maybe for you as well. All right. The next one. Oh, and great to hear from you again. Uh, the next card comes from Robert in New Mexico in the United States. So we have this, a few different images. Uh, I think of New Mexico and I think of this image a lot. Uh, the desert, not much else going on, um, barren, <laughs> but you know, there is mountains around, so there is snow that's capable around. And he thanked me for the card that uh, I sent him. And the time that he sent this, it was 22 degrees there in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And he was off to see Guardians of the Galaxy. I still haven't seen that yet. I actually haven't been to a movie theater in quite some time. So uh, one day we'll get back there again. I Just with streaming services, the movies show up pretty quickly. And uh, we get to watch them at home uh, in the comfort of our own homes, eating whatever snacks we want to eat. So that's how we've been doing it lately. But I do have to get back into the theater. Here are the stamps that Robert included on the back. we got some Roy Lichtenstein stamps, famous artist. So thank you for that. This so next card is a National Postcard Week, May the 7th to the 13th. And we've got a beautiful bee and a daisy. And this comes from Lila in Maryland. And we've got the forever stamp on the back. So thank you, Lila, for this. I didn't do anything for National Postcard Week. I don't think I even talked about it in videos, but uh, thank you for that. Uh, this next card comes from Jilly B of Jilly B living her life her way from YouTube. Uh, we all know her. You guys are watching her, aren't you? If you're not, go check her out. We've got a maxi card, uh, Rowan Atkinson, Black Adder maxi card. You can see there's the stamp. There's that on the back. It's all decorated up nicely, especially with the unicorn. And the candlestick. Yeah really like that it's a very funny show if you like mr bean it's not like mr bean <laughs> okay he is a versatile comedian uh, rowan atkinson and uh what you expect from mr bean is the kind of the bumbling idiot that doesn't really say anything um in this he plays there's four seasons of it and uh, each season is a different uh time period and he's a quite intelligent person and uh it's a full speaking role so um 
if you're expecting Mr. Bean in this role, it's not Mr. Bean, but he does a fantastic performance in uh, this character. So it's worth checking out. All right, thanks, Julie. The next card comes from Luna in Italy. And this is her area. She's promoting it, saying it's a great place to come. There is all sorts of Romagna, all sorts of beautiful uh, people to see, and uh, lots of wonderful food to eat. You can see all the stuff there. It's up there. And she says, uh, you should come visit. We have all these things uh, in Romagna. And I bet you it would be amazing. I haven't been to this part of Italy. I was in Italy once. Uh, it was down in Rome and Naples and Florence and uh, Venice. Kind of drove in that area, but did not really hit any of this coast nor stop in. I went to Pisa on the on the western side. Um, so yeah, I will have to one day get back to Italy and try all this amazing food. And it's nice to have someone who is there locally that would be able to speak the language and uh, know exactly where to go. There are the stamps. So thank you, Luna, for all you do and uh, your uh, friendship and trading cards. I appreciate it. Next card comes from Jessica. And she sent this card as a... Uh, this is Montpellier in Vermont here. She was coming up to visit a friend or will be coming up to visit a friend, but had this card just to say that she is coming in this general area. There are the stamps with the Sesame Street stamp as well. This is a really cute stamp. Uh, we get a real good shot of that, but it is nice that uh, pretty well canceled over top of it, but very nice. So hopefully, Jessica, you have a great visit when you do get a chance to come up here. And uh, yes, I did uh, have fun in Montreal. I got my daughter all packed up. This was at the time when she wrote it. Uh, the 1st of May, we'd gone to Montreal. I went and picked up Daya from university, moved her out of the dorm into the apartment that she has, and then brought her home for the summer. So we had a short trip, but it was very productive. All right. This next card comes from Media in Finland, and uh, he said this new stamp, which I'll show you in a minute, is uh, designed by Virbi Pekela. Virbi Pekela? Was that, did I say it close? Uh, but uh, she does illustrations, and so she did this illustration on the postcard. There's her signature there, and there is her stamp. How fun is that? And some beautiful cancellations to go with it. So thank you, Media, for that. And then she said, uh, when, at the time she sent this, was the 9th of May that she sent this one. And then the uh, World Ice Hockey was about to start, which is now over. Um, Finland did go up against Canada in a uh, quarterfinals, and Canada was victorious this time around. Last time they met, Finland uh, won gold medal last year, and uh, this year Canada won the gold medal. But... It was more exciting than that. Forget who won the gold medal, even though yay Canada. Um, Germany got the silver, and it was their first medal in 70 years. And Latvia beat the United States to take the bronze medal, and that was their first world medal ever. And uh, I guess the nation just exploded uh, with uh, pride and people turning out for parades. I got to see some of the, the images from it and Midia tell me, told me some of the stuff that she saw it along the way. So uh, congratulations to Latvia and to Germany on their success at the Worlds this time around. All right, let's move on to the next one. Uh, this one comes from Rovic in the Philippines. I haven't heard from Rovic in a little while, so I'm glad to, to hear from him again. Uh, this young man sent me uh, Sharks and things, stickers, all sorts of sea life there. And it was really, he wrote me a letter. Um, I won't go through it all, um, but it is very interesting. He sent me uh, how he's doing in school, and he went subject by subject to explain what subjects he takes in the Philippines, uh, saying one of his favorite uh, things to study is history. And uh, he did study the First World War, and then in uh, earlier years they studied the second world war of course from the perspective of the philippines why would you not <laughs> study it any other way but he said uh, in history this year in class he's going to be uh, studying it from the european perspective and what's happened during the second world war in europe so he was excited to to hear about that and learn about that uh, i think that's fascinating um to get all those different perspectives here in canada of course 
we get a Canadian perspective of how history unfolds, how it affected us. Uh, maybe we're uh, tilted a little bit more towards the British Empire uh, being a Commonwealth country. And, uh, but it would be interesting to, uh, to learn history uh, in Germany, for example. How do they portray events of the First and Second World War? Um, the United States, Japan, China, um, all these countries were involved in it and they all had different takes on what actually happened. And uh, history books are written, they say, by the winners. So sometimes uh, events get skewered towards one way or the other. So I'd be very curious to, to hear how uh, Rovic uh, learns about these subjects and what, what are taught and uh, some of the things that we were never taught that took place that uh, would be interesting to know. So. Thank you, Rubik, for letting me think a little bit again, too, about what's going on. I appreciate that. All right, this next envelope comes from Paula in South Carolina. Just arrived today. Nice uh, forever stamp there, and she's got some washi on the back and some stickers. And I say all these things because there is a purpose to all that. Inside, she uh, sent two cards. One you'll see tomorrow if you watch That Dad Guy Answers. And then... Two, she sent this, and on the back she says, Rob, I blame all this on you, haha. <laughs> I've collected postcards for about 40 years and have a little over 10,000. That's a lot of postcards, especially if you've saved them all. Uh, I discovered post crossing in January of this year when I checked YouTube for tips. I found your channel. You introduced me to washi tape and stickers. I never thought about decorating postcards. In the past, I only mailed them. Now, my goodness. I'm learning about philately. Wow, a new world. I'm including a few to add to you in your dad's collection. Thanks so much for the great info. Paula, which I appreciate that. Um, I'm glad that uh, you were learning a few of these things from me because I've been learning them from other people. Certainly when I started Post Crossing in 2021, so I've only been doing it a couple of years, um, I was the same way. I got a postcard, I put a stamp on it, the address, short message and sent it off. And then uh, people like uh, Renee Lewis or Jilly B um, and uh, lots of others too, uh, leave in Belgium. They all uh, use washi tape and stickers. And uh, eventually I got to using them too. Um, I was getting things from Lewis in uh, United Arab Emirates. He used washi tape and things and he did a great job with it. So I figured well, I could do this too. Uh, maybe I can't do it as well as they do, but uh, I still can do it. I'm going to show you Paula sent a bunch of stickers, some big stickers. These will be great on some of those long envelopes that are uh, long postcards that I just got from Montreal. Uh, I'll show you a few stamps that she sent along too. These are really nice ones. I like this one here a lot. And uh, These ones here, this poor one got the corner torn off of it, but it's okay. And then, do, do, we have some Netherlands ones. And then this last one. So thank you for sending all that on. Thank you for uh, answering my question that I have of the month. So I'll be able to read your response tomorrow. Uh, we have a connection there, so uh, that'll be good to share. I'm just putting all these stickers back as I talk to you back in the envelope so I don't lose them. But uh, thank you, Paula. Thank you for watching the channel. Thank you for uh, saying you were inspired to do something and uh, it's working out near well, uh, working out well for you, even though uh, I guess it probably costs you a little bit more if you're buying washing stickers now to decorate. All right, this last one, I know it's been a long video, this last one comes from Katja in uh, Sweden. There are the stamps. And she sent this postcard. It's the mouse using the cat's tail to wash up with. Uh, and she said she found a few things. Uh, she says she's not a stamp collector, but she thought she would pass these on. And uh, she has old denominations or young, uh, small denomination stamps that she sometimes puts on postcards in order to uh, make other uh, stamp collectors happy when she sends them out. But she thought she would send these and a few stickers on and uh, they're in this envelope.
which I am going to show you at a later video because there are more than just a couple in here. There's a sneak peek. So I will leave that for right now and you'll get a chance to see that in a future video with the stickers and the stamps that she's included. And then I can go back here and say thank you to everybody that sent in stuff this week. Um, I think it's going to be a good week for responding to some mail because I noticed that uh, some of my postcards have been arriving at their spots too. So I should be able to send out a few on Sunday. Tomorrow, when I gauge on that, uh, tomorrow is not the day where I answer your questions because tomorrow is the first Saturday in the month. So I gave you a question uh, the first Saturday in May and I gave you a month to send me postcards with your response. So tomorrow I'm going to read those responses back to you and then give you a new question for the month of June so we can have something going forward. Whew! It's been great. Good video, lots to say, lots to show. And uh, thanks again for 800 subscribers. Let's get us up to 900 and uh, see where we can go from there. Uh, stay tuned for a giveaway video that will be coming and uh, the other videos that we have going on this weekend. Have a magical week. What Polo? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Bye.